as you can hear. Time for the last of the action here in Novi Mesto at the first stage of the European Grand Prix in Para Archery. Rico men's open category is about to get underway. Let's go down to meet the contenders for the gold medal. Last of the gold medal matches here in Novi Mesto, the Rico of Men's Open it is a contest between Stefano Traversani from Italy and Guillaume Tucole from France. Two different forms of archery here, even though it's the Rico, you've got conventional re finger release opposed to a mouth release. So the Frenchman has a mouth tap that's attached to the string. So Travisani, a conventional release, as John says. Uh, yeah. Running things underway with a 10. Tukulay using a uh, mouth release tell us uh, how does that work uh, obviously it's uh, <laughs> uh, the replacement to the to the to the back arm uh, but uh, how do you release the arrow with your mouth basically you just open your jaw and, and <laughs> arches around you get covered in saliva <laughs> <laughs> Get a good look at that. Uh, yeah, it'll be. A, it's a cord attached to his string that he holds in his mouth. We're dropping low into the eight, so uh, has opened the door here for a tied set, but Tukule needs a ten from his teeth. Not quite enough, but uh, uh, confidence boosting two nines from uh, Tukule uh, to end that set. But it is uh, Travisani leading by two set points to nil. Look, in all seriousness, and I'm genuinely not joking here. I mean, does that not put an awful lot of pressure on your teeth? Absolutely. He's drawing about 44 pounds on his teeth. You know, so he, he, he goes to the dentist quite a lot. He's, I bet know, he does. He does, yeah. You know, he he's it's the only way he, he's got to look after his his teeth. You know, they're so important to him. You know. He's, but by shooting with his jaw, all he needs to do is just open his jaw ever so slightly. So there's less moving parts, if you like. So it's, he, he's very accurate once he gets into the, into the swing of it. You know, and I fully expect him to bounce back. Well, his chance comes right now. Two set points down, two collate. Shooting first in the second. Well, as predicted by John Stubbs, the 2008 Paralympic champion, Tukule has hit the middle of the target for the first time in the match. It's good shooting by the eye time, I knew. Nine. 
That's a good group. So good arrow here. Can put this one out of reach. Needs a ten for the points. Oh, well, that's drifted off into the six by the looks of things for a 25. So points could go to Travisani here. Anything more than a seven? seven. Oh, that's right on the line. I think that is a seven called a liner in venue. So they will measure that. But I fancy that will get marked up to a seven, which if my math is right, means they're both on 25. And uh, Travisani... Has, uh, well, if you like, saved a point really in the match. Uh, yeah, they, they were, they were clearly, yeah, clearly both shocked by that. Then, I th obviously think the wind got up there and caught them both on, on just surprisingly, if you like. You know, the the French guy shooting forty four pounds, so that was a bit of a surprise. The the look, nothing strange in the loops. I, I purely think that was caught on the wind. Well, these tiny margins make such a big difference, but as John said, uh, both of them having shot into the gold with their first two hours, drifting out because of the wind, and uh, now it's going to be a question of who can uh, dust themselves off after that, uh, not error, but um, wind-affected arrow. But it's gusty, isn't it? It's not if you you can look at the long grass in in the background. It it's just fluttering a little bit, but it's not a steady wind, which is so tricky for you archers. Yeah, you've got to use everything that's in in view to be honest and make your call just on what you can see. So the door is now open for the Frenchman. Guillaume Tuchelet needs to take advantage of this one. Seven. Again, drifting out to the yeah. right. So nine here to level things up. Ooh, pops it into the ten. Advantage... Travisani, right, John? Absolutely. He's got it all to win now. You can see it windy in the background. Nine. So 26 set by uh, Guillaume Tukele. Anything in the gold will do. Oh, that's just what he's done as well. And a 27 for Travasani. He gets the two set points uh, when really Guillaume Tukule had the opportunity yet again uh, to uh, close the gap up. That's two opportunities by the Frenchman lost there, John. Absolutely. Yeah, he'd be kicking himself. Yeah, he, he, you know, he's got a lot of experience, you know. He's, you know, and looking to his coach for guidance, you know, he should be judging this himself. So I think, sorry, I think he's letting, I think he's letting the weather get into his head too much rather than just aiming at the target and, com you know, committing to the shot. We talked about um, the opportunity to learn. And, you know, you guaranteed that silver medal, as you said. But Tukele still in this match. He's 5-1 down. He'll shoot first in the fourth. He really needs to win this one to give himself some confidence. Even if he does, he'll still be 5-3 down. But he shoots first in the fourth. Eight. Is that enough? Yeah. And it went to the right as well, or the left, I should say. Seven. 
which is has the way the that. arrows. Yeah, that's the way the arrows have normally been, normally been going. So the French guys sort of been aiming off. So perhaps overcompensating. Nine. Still drifting out to the left, but this time into the nine. Seven, though, from Travasani. Is he starting to struggle with the weather? I think so. Yeah. The group's good, and, and you can see uh, Travasani now adjusting his sight. Oh, good idea. He only needs a nine. Maybe Looks like it's cut the line. I'm going to call that. Yeah, that's line. enough. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, 26 puts this one out of reach. Nine. But Travasani correcting for a 24. Was that a 23? A 23. Uh, so uh, the points do go to Gian Tukele. Not in the most convincing manner, but points are points. And uh, he trails yeah. by five points to three now. Close the gap up, cut the deficit in half. And we will go into a fifth and final regulation set. And of course, Tukele, if he wins that, will force the shoot off. He needs to start well again and put some pressure on his opponent. So we're back in that situation now where um, the, the athlete shooting first is trailing, but uh, has the advantage, in inverted commas, to put down a big score and put the pressure on his opponent. Now, if the opponent then scores well, the pressure switches back. So we've got a really tense final regulation set, right? Absolutely. And as you saw in that last arrow by the Italian, I actually think that he'd moved his sight over to compensate for the wind and he trusted with his positioning of his aperture on his sight and just went with the last shot to see where it'd end up so he could take it forward into this end so he, he knew he was beaten but he used it as a fact finding arrow As uh, John said, that fact-finding arrow in, a, in what effectively was a dead arrow is uh, what it's all about, preparing himself, Travasani, here for this set. A 10-put down matched by yep. Travasani. And we have got this battle now of pressure. It's with Tukele at the moment, needs another good arrow. Into the nine, not bad. Is it enough, this, though? This is what I was coming to expect, absolutely. This is the experience shining through, yeah. Travasani pops it into the ten. This is now in the Italian's hands. Good score on this arrow to put some pressure on from Tukele. Drifted out wide into the eight for a 27, not a bad score, but an eight. Well, in fact, an, a seven's enough for the win. Nine. Puts it into the nine, and what a great final set there from both of the archers. But in the end, it's Stefano Travasani from Italy who secures a 7 3 win over Guillaume Tucolet from France, and uh, Travasani takes the gold in the recurve men's open category here in Novi Mesto at the first stage of the Euro Para Archery Grand Prix.